All right, folks, buckle up. It's time for a special field trip edition of Facebook Live's favorite real estate education program, Office Hours with Stephen Jones of Lightbox Homes. Uh, hold on a second. Let me share this to some groups here. Share, share, share. Let's see here. Share, share. There we go. Share. All right, so got all my shares out of the way. Let's go for a little ride. So it's not always recommended to be doing live video when you're driving, but we're not going very far. Today I am taking you on a field trip of two of our projects here in Tucker, Georgia. 2937 Sylvan Ramble Road and 2507 Brookdale Drive. Uh, both in my neighborhood, zip code 30345. And uh, those of you who are familiar with the Atlanta market know that these neighborhoods are kind of the, how do I put this, like the, uh, just the state and true um, neighbor, neighborhoods in the city. I mean, with values that have been constantly rising over the last, you know, 40 years, um, beautiful, 1960s ranches mostly and two levels plus um, you know some newer construction as well in places like Oak Grove but overall just a very healthy market um, ARV range is somewhere between 300 and 600 if you're in um, the Henderson Mill Hawthorne or Briar Lake school districts and it can get up to 1.4 million if you're in the Oak Grove elementary school district Bear in mind, all four of these districts are within the Lakeside High School District. So if you're ever doing any uh, work in here, realize there's a big, big price difference uh, depending on the elementary school system that you're a part of. Uh, a lot of people don't realize that. I see a lot of people wholesale in this neighborhood and they'll wholesale a property in Hawthorne Elementary uh, like it's in Oak Grove or Briar Lake and that's not gonna work. So, uh, hey, I got Henry watching. What's going on, Henry? Roberto, got Roberto watching, that's cool. You guys are, uh, I see you a lot on office hours. Good to have you guys aboard. Just talking about the neighborhood that I'm taking people to. So I actually bought my own flip in this neighborhood um, about uh, just over a year ago on Sylvan Ramble Road. Um, it was brought to us by the um, yeah, matchless bird dog, Janet Rice who got us under contract for 290 on a house, needed about 100,000, finished the basement. And uh, about midway through, we're like, gosh, that house is like half the distance to Diego's school. And it's got a really nice backyard and a basement. And so we decided to refire our way into it. Worked out well, loved the house, loved the neighborhood. Um, and what we did to that house really taught us what you need to do to make money in this neighborhood which is buy these old brick ranches um, that are like 2,500 square feet and finish the basement. So when you're done, usually when you start, it's just a 3-2 on top or a 3-3 three, three plus nothing in the basement. And what you gotta do is finish the basement with at least one bedroom and a full bath and make that 3-2 up top shine like gold and you're good. You get into the 500 range. Our house appraised at 530 and um, that would have been, if we had sold that, that would have made a, a good profit for our business. Um, and I just saw a house very similar, ranch on a basement, sell for 575 on Caladium. So it's a good neighborhood. The thing is, you gotta get into these ranches below 300,000, and that can be very, very tricky. But, you know, like all things, it can be done. You just have to know where those houses are, who owns them, make sure you're in contact with them. And when you live in the neighborhood, that's a lot easier. Um, and that's what happened. I, on the first house we're going to visit, 2937 Sylvan Ramble Road, I used to jog past it every morning. And um, it was in pretty bad shape in the beginning. You could see that the roof uh, was not being taken care of. The, the house had a lot of issues with it. Uh, you could just see that from the street, but it was on a beautiful corner lot. Uh, it was kind of small, but I felt like there was enough room that the foundation was strong enough, you know? 
So I started contacting the seller, and before you knew it, I got in touch with her. Turned out that she and the family did want to sell it. They were tired of renting it out, and it took about six, seven months to put that, get that to the closing table, but we did. And um, we are now, we have now been working on it for about a month. It is, it was 1350 square feet to begin with, so we knew we had to put an addition on it. Uh, to get it to the square footage of which you could get at least four bedrooms and have a nice master bath. And uh, hold on a second, folks. I'm going to kind of show you the property here. Let's see. We're here. All right. Let's see. Turn the camera around. There's the property. You can see there's Sylvan Ramble Road. Comes right here. There's Briarmore going that way. This property sits right on the corner of Briarmore and Sylvan Ramble. It's a beautiful house. Let's go take a look at it. Hang on a second. All right, here we go. I'm gonna pull into the driveway here. Hang on now. Now this whole driveway is going to be replaced down to about here. Let's see here. All right. All right. So here's what we're gonna do, folks. I'm gonna just walk you around the property. Uh, please ask us any questions that you have about the property. You can ask questions about how we found it, financed it, planned it, permitted it, whatever you wanna ask. Um, this is this show's for you. I'm just gonna take you on a quick tour and then we'll go to our next house, which is right around the corner. All right, hang on a second. All right. Okay, so here we are. This is, uh, so the driveway starts up there on Briarmore actually. Comes all the way down here, kind of slopes downward to a pretty sizable carport, honestly. You see we've been working on the drainage here, getting that worked out, and uh, put some new siding up there. It's great, it's got a big storage closet right here. It used to have another closet here. You can kind of see the outline, but we took that out to make more room so the two cars could fit here. You can see up here we got our framer working to create the attic door. And uh, we have like a little walk around to the front door here. Let's see here, Let's see if it's open. Oh boy. Hopefully this code works, otherwise I'm gonna have to restart this because I'm gonna have to call Elena. Ah. Hmm. All right, well, I wait for that code from Elena. I'll take you on the rest of the tour of the house. Is this open? No, okay. So anyway, so out here, we got the backyard. Framing crew put re rejuvenated the deck, here we go. All right, so here we are. What's going on, Saul, welcome. Put in some new French doors, repaired the soffits and the um, fascia here. Very important that you hit the details, folks, on your uh, renovations, very important. Here you can see the back of the addition going up. Those are the existing bedrooms. You see we replaced the windows. Uh, when you're working in the $500,000 price range, you don't leave the windows. You put in new windows, nice premium vinyl windows that insulate well. Um, so hang on a second. Got the code from Lena. Let's enter the house, folks. You can see this nice big front yard while we walk to the front door. It's been regraded. Hang on a second. Let's see here. Right. All right, here we are, and welcome 
It's a 2937 Sylvan Ramble Road. As you can see, we are in the systems uh, stage of the renovation. We have replaced all the pipes in the house with vinyl pipes, or sorry, PVC pipes. You can see all that woodwork that we've done here to reinforce uh, the roof here to make this open concept. Just look at that beautiful LVL. Ain't that just the most amazing piece of composite material you've ever laid eyes on? Three ply, and that baby's like maybe 14, 16 inches high. Look at that. And what this allows for is a really um, open concept layout that people love. Um, it's really what's hot now. If you're renovating properties, especially in this neighborhood, that really gets you the uh, days on market bump. Helps get those days on market down uh, because your house has obviously been updated layout as well as systems. So over in that corner over there where the wheelbarrow is, you're gonna have the kitchen, uh, a little bit of a smaller space. We're gonna be putting the sink in the island here and we'll have our refrigerator and our stove right there. And we'll have a wine ice maker or something right there. You can see that nice touch there by Elena. Uh, dining room is gonna be over here and uh, it's gonna be a beautiful little dining area. And if you'll notice, we've actually kept the original hardwood floors because they were in great shape. They're uh, oak. So all you gotta do is sand them off and voila, you got new hardwood floors again because they are just a great material. Uh, to make this a true entertainer's dream house, we are putting in a half bath right here. There's gonna be a toilet and a sink so that people stay out of your full bath. There'll be a big closet right here, perfect. One of the things about small houses is you wanna create storage if you can. And uh, that's why we're putting this in right here. And here's the staircase, but I'll get to that in a minute. Here is the full bath that we're redesigning. It's going to have your vanity over here, a, your toilet. And we've already had the bathtub installed. Beautiful bathtub. And uh, let's see here. So this will be bedroom one. It's a pretty good sized bedroom, probably 11 by 11 uh, with a closet right there. And then we have bedroom two. And you see the big windows there. It's gonna have a lot of light once we get the drywall in here. It's gonna look really nice. And then what used to be the master bedroom, we turned into a really nice sized laundry closet here that'll have enough room for side-by-side -side washer and dryer and shelves. And this is the master bed here. It's pretty good size actually, but uh, we're actually just making it bedroom three. It's gonna have a big closet on it. So downstairs you have three bedrooms and one and a half baths. And so for this house really to get into that 500 price range, we needed to make a really lovely master suite. So up the stairs we go, folks. Here we are. Anybody got any questions while I'm walking this house? Ooh, it's hot up here. It's getting hot in here. So put in some HVAC. All right, so we have a, like a loft area here that you walk into, perfect for like an office or a nursery for a really small baby that can't get out of its crib. Um, and you can see you got a lovely view into that expansive front yard there bordering Sylvan Ramble. And then over here we have a dedicated closet and the master bedroom, which is, to say the least, cavernous. It's huge. I mean, this is a big master bed. Coffered ceilings all new wood construction, and a walk-in closet that might actually count as a bedroom <laughs> if it had its own window and its own closet. I mean, this walk-in closet is just huge. So, uh, hey, Solomon Cohen, my old dentist is watching. What's going on, Solomon? Got any questions for me about real estate investing? Check it out. I'll just remind everybody, taking you on a tour of 2937 Sylvan Ramble Road here in 30345. 2,000 square foot, four, two and a half house that Lena and I are renovating for retail later this fall. This is the master bath, folks. Big master bath. Just stepped into the shower. Look at all this space, dual vanities over there. You know, got your, uh, got your rain shower hookup right there. Looking good. Hey, the designer herself is now watching. Hey, Lena, just taking everybody on a tour of 2937 Sylvan Ramble Road. And uh, I think we're about wrapping up here. Anybody got any questions about this project so far? As you can see, we're still in the system stage of this project. We are uh, 
getting all the rough plumbing, rough electrical, rough HVAC in so that we can um, continue on with drywall. But uh, it's we're planning, hang on a second. Put this key away real quick. Voila. Okay, so anyway, so this house is progressing nicely and we are hope, looking forward to putting it on the market in the fall. Uh, we haven't settled on a list price yet. This market has the advantage of having very low inventory right now. So uh, could be a, could be a nice, uh, nice bump up on the ARV there. So on to our next house, folks. All right, everybody. Stick with me here if you're watching. If you just got into Facebook Live right now, uh, this is Office Hours with Stephen Jones of Lightbox Homes, taking everybody on a tour of our two projects here in our own home neighborhood of the Hawthorne, 30345 near uh, North, North Lake Mall. Thanks, Anya. Thanks, Lena. Appreciate you guys weighing in there with those comments. And uh, just... Um, it's nice having projects so close, you know, when you got an issue, it's not like you have to, you know, drive all the way into downtown to go settle it. Um, the houses themselves are really high quality to begin with. I mean, the build quality in the 60s was really good. And uh, that's what I love about these houses is it doesn't, you don't have to do a whole bunch of structural stuff to them besides what you're doing for the redesign. You know, you can just, um, you know, pretty much renovate them how you want so uh so sylvan ramble so brookdale brookdale came to us from a guy who saw my yellow sign in the front yard of my personal home here on sylvan ramble and actually we're driving past my uh house right now on sylvan ramble road towards this other house and he called me and he was interested in a cash offer on his house uh, it took us about a year of negotiating. Uh, he played with the idea of renovating it himself, and he just de decided, you know what? I'm going to sell it. You guys can keep it. He uh, did some major drainage work on the house uh, for a storm drain that DeKalb County disputed was theirs. That's a whole other story, but if anybody ever wants to know about dealing with DeKalb County from what that owner told me, I can tell you a lot. So, uh... Call me if you're interested in that or if you have some kind of issue with that. But this house is a more traditional house for the neighborhood, more like our house. It's a ranch on a basement. So the house we just went into was just a ranch, no basement, thus the addition. This house is a ranch with about 1,000 square feet of basement below. And in fact, the basement spans the whole house, but half of it is not, is not, does not have slab. So if we wanted to finish that half, we'd have to dig it out and put slab in it not fun and not cheap so but there's really no need anyway this this neighborhood you can only add so many square feet before the pricing starts to taper away and you just can't get the money back so really all you got to do is like what i was saying at the beginning of the show with these ranches on a basement you turn the three two on the main level into the world's most beautiful three two and you turn the basement into an amazing entertaining area with one bedroom and one full bath and that, my friend, is the formula for success in this neighborhood. Because um, really, I mean, I'm not supposed to say this Fair Housing Act is like, no, you can't advertise it to a certain group of people, but let's be honest, the type, most of the people looking for a house in this neighborhood are families, and they need space. And so if you can make that space a uh, great space, you know, usable space, then you win. So that's what we're doing on this house. And let's see here. Where is the lockbox? I'm going to go find the lockbox. We are here now, folks. It's the same neighborhood, though. Before we walk into this house, everybody understand, 2507 Brookdale Drive is the same neighborhood as Sylvan Ramble. Uh, 30345 Hawthorne School District. So, um, okay. We're here at the house. Let's, let me trade up my glasses, because this one's got a basement and I can't see. And where did I put my glasses? Oh, there they are. Okay, voila. Okay, uh, everybody ready? In the gr oh, okay. Uh, all right, so here we go. Let's go on a little tour here. All right. All right, here we are. So this is the front yard. 
there's Brookdale Drive, and there's the house itself. It's really hot, so I'm gonna try to keep this exterior tour just as brief as possible. Um, <laughs> yeah, and yeah, I know, it's kind of got me nervous too. <laughs> when your wife and designer's watching, you know, it kind of ups the game here. Uh, you can see how we've uh, replaced the old doily metal uh, braces with these lovely treated six by sixes. Those are gonna be finished. They're gonna add a lot to the look of this house. Um, it's got two beautiful dogwood trees in the front yard. That's a nice addition in my opinion. And uh, it looks like they're really healthy. That's also great. Uh, carport here. Um, that's a new frame in here. Uh, to to kind of give you guys an idea, this house um, was hit by a tree right there. A tree fell on it. So we had to repair all that uh, when we bought it. Yeah, it took out some of the back too. But man, these ranches, I'm, I'm telling you folks, these ranches are tanks. I mean, they are just amazingly well-built houses. It doesn't take a lot to turn them into, uh, to give to breathe new life into them. It really, I mean, it takes a lot. I take that back. It's $100,000, but you know, it's not, it's not the end of the world. You're not basically rebuilding the entire house. You're fixing what's broken and you're updating what needs it. And speaking of which, got this beautiful deck installed uh, with a screen porch right there. That's a big plus. Big backyard here that needs some grading and some love. We're gonna have our team come and do that right at the end. Uh, yeah, it's got an old fence too. So we're gonna have to do some, some landscaping work here. Thanks, Anya, I appreciate you liking the curb appeal. Yeah, the house is very inviting, I agree. It's a very nice little house. So uh, working on that. So I'll bring you past that, that screen porch in a minute. Let's head back, head inside show you the inside of the house right got a dumpster rocking there a lot of trash out as far as wood is concerned okay uh, okay all right gotcha yeah, that wasn't too hard all right okay so you walk in the door from the uh carport and you come here, and we have turned this extra space that they put on these ranches behind the carport into a storage closet. And I think I tell I think I'm, I might not be. This is the laundry room for sure. So you'll have your laundry right here on the main level. And ooh, it's got a pocket door. Cool. Ooh, that's fun. I think. Now you not tell me I'm wrong, but I think this is going to be a half bath. Is that right? Or is this going to be a uh, closet. So let me know. looks like they've got the sheathing over the floor. Just last week there, the floor was open there to the basement below, but you can see we have vaulted the ceiling. So we repaired the tree damage and we just went ahead and vaulted the whole thing. And man, that, that LVL and Sylvan Ramble was sexy. This thing is like the Victoria's Secret model of like LVL. This thing is hot. Look at that. Look at those lines, my goodness. That's a beautiful piece of composite material if I've ever seen one. Yeah, man, this, this house is gonna rock. Check it out, skylight. So bringing lots of light here into the living and dining area. And this space is vast. I mean, it is at least, it's 50% larger than the other space. It is vast, it is huge. This is going to be an amazing uh, layout when it's done. I am standing in the kitchen, believe it or not, doing a European style kitchen here. Since it's an open concept living space, it really doesn't matter. And we're gonna have a big island there where you see those pieces of uh, uh, sheathing, uh, plywood there. You know, lots and lots of counter space, lots of light in this kitchen, premium appliances. This will be your uh, dedicated dining space over here and your living room over here. And of course, I don't have this confirmed, but my guess would be Mr. Seth White will be putting together another handmade, handcrafted mantelpiece for us. And uh, I'm not sure if this fireplace works or not, but we'll figure that out. But uh, as you can see here as, as well, right off of the living area, you have the screen porch. Awesome 10 by 10 screen porch, perfect for sitting out in the summer and avoiding bugs. And you're gonna have this big deck, perfect for grilling out, hanging out, entertaining your friends and family. 
it's gonna be amazing. So uh, when you come this way, this is how we're redesigning the three two. So uh, we're gonna have a little closet here, another closet here. Lots of closets in this house, lots of storage, that's good. This would be bedroom one, pretty good sized bedroom, about 12 by 12. It's gonna have a dedicated full bath right here, walk-in shower. And here's bedroom two. Nice views out there to the street. And uh, bedroom two is going to be there. And then the master bedroom is on the back side of the house here. Pretty good sized master. Big walk-in closet right here. You know, lots of space for his and hers. And then over here we have a um, the rest of the master bedroom. We are going to walk into the master bath here. So, yeah, Anya, I know, screen porch is really cool. We used to have one in our old house in Umberland. They're wonderful for entertaining and for hanging out, especially like in the early fall when the evenings are cool. So this is our, what you're looking at right here, folks, is the walk-in shower, which I have walked into. And uh, you're gonna have your dual vanities over here, your throne over there. And now I shall walk through walls. Whoa. Steven walks through another wall. All right, now we're gonna go show you the, the special sauce on the ranch. Hope you enjoyed the main level, but the special sauce, unlike most sauces, is below the main dish instead of above it. This is the basement, folks. Welcome to the basement. I don't even know if you guys can see this. There might not be any reception. Uh, so here we have our full bath. And uh, over here we got our one bed. Got our bedroom here. And then we have this vast sort of entertaining space here. You know, great place to have a pool table or a movie room or a den. You know, this is your teenager holding cage over here. They got their own full bath. And, I mean, this house is big on storage. If you look out here, you can't see this. The entire other half of the house has a basement that's eight feet tall. And there's piers right down the middle of it, of course, which you can't see. Um, but, hold on, will this make any difference? A little light on my phone. A little bit of a difference. But this is lots of storage space. So all you guys who collect or have your own little business or something, this is perfect, man. It's like, let's see, it's like five, 600 square feet of just space you can store stuff in. It's awesome. So, all right. So that's the special sauce on this ranch, man. That one bed, full bath down below, on below a three-two. With a nice backyard, new roof, new mechanicals, new systems. Man, new kitchen, sumptuous master bath. Man, this house is going to rot. Uh, and it should be ready, God willing, by mid-fall. Hopefully, no sooner than mid-fall, but we'll see. So, let's see here. Let's go back to the car because it's hot. It is really hot. So stick with me here, folks. But once again, what I love about these houses is, you know, they're, they're close to home, you know? So I know the neighborhood, I know the profile of the buyers pretty well by now. And um, I know what they're looking for. So, and hey, it's not every day you get to renovate a house and make your own neighbor, right? Oh yeah, I mean, Anya's on the ranch. She's on the ranch bandwagon, the ranch wagon. She likes these ranches, huh, Anya? You know, they're pretty cool, right? Let's see here. All right, get back in this car. Get that AC rocking, man. It is hot out there. So if you're just joining us, uh, just finished up a review of our two houses on say, or, uh, in renovation here in my home neighborhood uh, off of Briarcliff near North Lake Mall. And, uh, oh, yeah, cool. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what I'm just saying. Anyway, so just reviewed 2507 Brookdale Drive. And if you scroll back earlier in the video, you can see 2937 Sylvan Ramble Road. Uh, both of these houses are going to list in the fall, somewhere around that half a mil mark. And uh, with Southeastern Home Team, that's my realty company. As in, I mean, I'm an agent there, but I mean, the, the feelings there of 
you know, between the colleagues is really strong. We share, we help each other out. We're all mostly investors ourselves. Like 90% of the agents there are investors themselves. Love my brokerage. Anyway, um, so these these houses will be ready in mid-fall. If you have any questions, call me. My phone number is 770-674-8001. Um, if you have any questions about the renovation, if you'd like to come see it, if you have like a meetup group and you wanna show a house being renovated, call me up, let me know, uh, here to help. And uh, thanks everybody for joining me for this episode of Office Hours. Um, join us next Monday, one o'clock, hoping to go visit a colleague and talk to them about the market or their house or issues they've been facing. Gonna make this more of a journalism kind of thing going forward because that's what I used to do before I was a real estate agent, I was a journalist. And uh, so I, I love what my colleagues do with their own projects. I do not consider other rehabbers to be competition. Um, I consider them to be, you know, part of my community because look at if other people do great jobs and sell houses for top dollar, that helps me. That helps the market move. That helps me sell my house for top dollar. You know, that gives me a clue as to what buyers want. You know, that's what you want to have is everybody winning because when everybody wins, well, everybody wins, right? So that's what this show is about, helping people with knowledge with real estate. Uh, so if, you have, if you're new also to real estate investing and you want to learn more about how I found these houses or finance them or what have you, uh, let me know. Shoot me a private message uh, or go to Lightbox Homes' Facebook business page and shoot me a message from there. Um, also, we now have a dedicated consultation product um, that we are offering to investors and homeowners alike where you can leverage our experience and expertise uh, in renovating houses for your next project. And uh, we offer two levels of service, a walkthrough with you where we walk the property with you and kind of give you our, an idea of what we would do and how much it would cost us as investors. And if you like that plan and you want to execute on it, we can help you save a ton of money through writing up that plan as a professional dedicated scope of work. Um, that saves you time and it creates a professional document that you can use to solicit bids from different contractors and compare those bids apples to apples. It's really handy and contractors love having a scope of work because it means they don't have to think. And the less thinking they have to do, the less work they have to do. So they don't have to hold your hand. Or, do you like this tile or this tile? We help you with all that. So when you hand them that document, they know exactly what needs to be done. And that helps a lot in getting prices down too. So uh, if you're interested in that, we now have a website page dedicated to that, lightboxhomes.com slash uh, renovation consultants, or just go to lightboxhomes.com and click on the link at the top of the page. Uh, I have to disclose that I am an agent licensed in Georgia with Southeastern Home Team and a part owner in the entity, that means LLC, that owns this house and the other house. So just so you know, that's who I am. Uh, Vani, if you're just joining us, I just wrapped up taking people on a tour of two homes under renovation in 30345 uh, Lakeside High School District, a ranch on a basement and a ranch with an addition. Uh, so if you want to learn more about those two properties, uh, just go backwards in time on this video and watch from the beginning and you can see the houses, the progress we're making. Also, everybody, like likebachhomes.com i'll post updates for all the properties on that page so you can kind of follow along in the renovation as well so um thanks everybody for watching this episode of uh office hours with stephen jones uh look for me to be back on facebook live next week next monday at one o'clock all right everyone have a great afternoon thanks